Hello everyone, it's Terry in Danu's Irish Herb Garden and it's a really lovely winter's day here. And I'm just looking around the garden as I've been to collect some pine needles because I'm going to make um, a home cleaning agent with them. And I just thought to myself, even though so many leaves have been shed and there's such there's so many examples of things dying back, we've still got an awful lot of beauty in a winter garden. And I just thought I might show you some of the things that appeal to me and that I think are really beautiful. So, I mean, look at the birch tree. You know, the leaves are dying, they're turning colour, but it just looks so beautiful. And because you can see through it, you can see more of the structure of the tree and how, how lovely it is. And I just want to show you something over here. I'm just looking at the oak tree. Remember when you're in primary school and you, you go out and collect leaves and you stick them down on paper and you make things. And I've just noticed all the buds for next year are here, ready to burst open when that warmth and sunlight returns again. So even as something is dying, like the leaves, we've got all this life yet to come. And here, look at this umbiliferia. I am not sure. I think it's um, I think it's ground elder, but it could be wild parsley. And look at the flower heads. They're like little galaxies of stars. It's really beautiful. It's like um, it's like something from fairyland. Even it's just really pretty, really lovely. And the sorrel has gone to seed. It's beautiful. It's probably a dock actually. I don't really want that many dock, but meadow sweet is in seed. It's nice to be able to let them go. Let them go. And just over there, our lovely wild rose is sprawling and it's still in colour. Still so much colour. My friend Colette recommended Cotoneaster years ago and I have several in the garden now and there is nothing to dislike about Cotoneaster. There's many varieties, but I just love the way the leaves turn red like this in autumn to winter. It's just so beautiful. And then of course we'll get the berries, which help the birds. And it's just, it's just gorgeous. There's berries on that one already. It's just great color. The other thing about winter is because so many things are dying and, and becoming dormant, um, you might think that there's no life around, but I'm going to show you my oats and barley bed. If you come over here. You may remember this was my potato bed. I built the bed about three or four years ago um, using the lasagna layering technique. And this year we grew potatoes here. And um, once the potatoes are harvested, I've raked it over, added a little bit of compost and I've sowed oats and barley and they will be ready to harvest in the springtime. It's just another way of using your space and getting a second harvest. And Connemara has traditionally been renowned for its really good quality oats. And they're a brilliant crop because no matter how few you sow, like I've only sown a handful of each variety, you get so much back that you can double and triple and quadruple the amount of space um, that you can put under, under crop. So I'm delighted with this. It's another thing that was done here in the past that I'm reviving here on my land. And it shows that even in winter, there's life growing and coming up. So never be frightened 
or concerned about death. There's always life. So I'm going in now with my lovely pine needles and uh, see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and have a look at the website. Bye.